Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to explore something that can make a big difference in your trading skills. We will be diving deep into how to use the order book to help you trade more confidently and effectively. By the time we are done, you will know how to read the order book, spot important patterns, and use this tool to build a solid trading strategy. Stick around and let us make sense of this powerful resource together. Before we dive into the details, let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted to see inside the minds of traders to know exactly what they are thinking at any given moment? Well, that is essentially what the order book allows you to do. To start, you might be wondering, what is the order book exactly? Imagine a list that shows who wants to buy and sell shares of a stock. That is the order book. It shows real-time buy and sell orders for a stock, and it also lets you know the price levels and quantities traders are willing to trade at. This is important because it helps you see the supply and demand in action. You can use it to predict where prices might be heading. And that is why it is a key part of trading successfully. In addition to understanding the order book itself, it is also crucial to recognize some common chart patterns that frequently appear in trading. These chart patterns, combined with the insights from the order book, can help you make better trading decisions. Let us go over a few key patterns that every trader should know. First, we have the asterisk asterisk head and shoulders asterisk asterisk pattern. This is a reversal pattern that can indicate a change in the direction of a price trend. It looks like three peaks, with the middle one being the highest, resembling a head with two shoulders. When you see this pattern forming, it may mean that the price is about to reverse direction. A similar pattern called the asterisk asterisk, inverse head and shoulders asterisk asterisk, suggests a reversal from a downtrend to an uptrend. Recognizing these patterns can give you early signals about when to enter or exit a trade. Another important pattern is the asterisk asterisk double top asterisk asterisk or asterisk asterisk double bottom asterisk asterisk. A double top occurs when the price tries to rise twice to the same level but fails both times. This is a bearish sign that the price might be heading downward on the other hand, a double bottom looks like two valleys at the same level, and it is a bullish indicator, meaning the price could soon go up. These patterns help identify potential turning points in the market. There is also the asterisk asterisk flag asterisk asterisk pattern. Flags are short-term continuation patterns that show a strong price move followed by a period of consolidation. An asterisk asterisk bullish flag asterisk asterisk indicates that the price might continue to rise, while a asterisk asterisk bearish flag asterisk asterisk suggests further decline. Spotting these flags can help you time your entry, especially when the market is showing a strong trend. Another one to watch for is the asterisk asterisk triangle asterisk asterisk pattern which can either be asterisk asterisk ascending asterisk asterisk, asterisk asterisk descending asterisk asterisk, or asterisk asterisk symmetrical asterisk asterisk. An ascending triangle usually forms when there is a resistance level and higher lows, indicating building upward pressure that may break through the resistance. A descending triangle, on the other hand, shows lower highs with a flat support level, suggesting the price may break downwards. A symmetrical triangle can break in either direction, and watching for the breakout direction gives you a clue about where the market is heading. Asterisk asterisk wedges asterisk asterisk are also common patterns to be aware of, a asterisk asterisk rising wedge asterisk asterisk typically forms during an uptrend and is a bearish reversal pattern. It shows that even though prices are rising, 
the upward momentum is weakening. A asterisk asterisk falling wedge asterisk asterisk is the opposite, and it can signal that a downtrend is losing steam, potentially leading to a bullish reversal. Recognizing wedges can help you get ahead of potential trend changes. Finally, asterisk asterisk support and resistance levels asterisk asterisk often form patterns on a chart. These are price levels where the stock has had a hard time moving above resistance or below support in the past. These levels are very important for traders because they represent barriers where price action is likely to change direction. The order book helps you see these levels in real time, showing where large buy or sell orders are sitting. By combining chart patterns like these with the real time data from the order book, you can make more informed trading decisions. Patterns give you a historical perspective, while the order book shows you what is happening in the moment. Together, they provide a fuller picture of market dynamics, helping you identify opportunities and minimize risks. Let us talk about the structure of the order book. On one side, you will see the buy orders. These are called bids. They show what price buyers are willing to pay for a stock and how much they want to buy. On the other side, you will find the sell orders. These are called asks. They show what price sellers want for their shares and how many shares they are offering. The highest price a buyer is willing to pay is called the best bid and the lowest price the seller will accept is called the best ask. The difference between these two is called the bid-ask spread, and it tells you how much difference there is between what buyers want to pay and what sellers want to get. If the spread is small, it means there is a lot of activity, and the stock is easier to buy and sell. If the spread is larger, it might mean there is less activity, or the stock is more volatile. Now, let us expand on some common chart patterns that can be used alongside the order book to improve your trading strategy. Asterisk asterisk candlestick patterns asterisk asterisk are one of the most popular types of chart patterns and understanding them can give you a significant advantage. A few well-known candlestick patterns include the asterisk asterisk hammer asterisk 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 doji asterisk asterisk and asterisk asterisk engulfing asterisk asterisk patterns. The asterisk asterisk hammer asterisk asterisk is a bullish reversal pattern that often appears after a downtrend, signaling a potential change in direction. The asterisk asterisk doji asterisk asterisk is a neutral pattern where the open and close prices are almost identical, suggesting indecision in the market. Meanwhile, the asterisk asterisk engulfing asterisk asterisk pattern can be either bullish or bearish, depending on whether a smaller candlestick is engulfed by a larger one, signaling a potential reversal. Another valuable chart pattern is the asterisk asterisk cup and handle asterisk asterisk. This is a bullish continuation pattern that resembles the shape of a teacup with a rounded bottom followed by a smaller pullback that forms the handle. When the price breaks out of the handle, it can indicate a strong move upward. This pattern often takes time to form, but it provides a clear signal of upward momentum once completed. The asterisk asterisk rounding bottom asterisk asterisk or asterisk asterisk saucer bottom asterisk asterisk is another important pattern to look for. It is a long-term reversal pattern that shows a gradual shift from selling pressure to buying pressure. The shape resembles a rounded bowl and often marks the transition from a downtrend to an uptrend. This pattern is particularly helpful for long-term traders looking to catch significant trend changes. Another key pattern to understand is the asterisk asterisk pennant asterisk asterisk pattern. Pennants are short-term continuation patterns that occur after a strong price movement, followed by a brief consolidation 
that forms a small symmetrical triangle. A bullish pennant forms after an upward move, while a bearish pennant follows a downward move. The breakout from the pennant usually happens in the same direction as the original movement, making this a useful pattern for timing entries during a strong trend. Asterisk asterisk, triple tops, asterisk asterisk, and asterisk asterisk, triple bottoms, asterisk asterisk, are also important chart formations. A asterisk asterisk, triple top, asterisk asterisk, occurs when the price attempts to break through a resistance level three times and fails, indicating a bearish reversal. Conversely, a asterisk asterisk, triple bottom, asterisk asterisk, occurs when the price attempts to break through a support level three times and holds, suggesting a bullish reversal. These patterns are similar to double tops and bottoms, but carry even more weight, as they reflect stronger levels of resistance or support. Lastly, asterisk asterisk channel patterns asterisk asterisk are helpful for identifying trends. Channels are formed when the price moves between two parallel lines, which can either be ascending, descending, or horizontal. An asterisk asterisk ascending channel asterisk asterisk indicates an uptrend, while a asterisk asterisk descending channel asterisk asterisk points to a downtrend. Horizontal channels indicate a range bound market. Traders can use these channels to identify potential breakout points or to trade within the channel by buying at support and selling at resistance. By recognizing and understanding these chart patterns, you can significantly enhance your ability to interpret the order book and improve your overall trading strategy. Combining chart patterns with the order book can provide a powerful way to confirm trends, identify reversals, and improve your timing when entering or exiting trades. There are some key terms we should know before diving deeper. The bid ask spread is the difference between the best bid and the best ask. If the spread is narrow, the stock has high liquidity, which means it is easier to trade. If the spread is wide, the stock could be more volatile or less active. Another term is market depth. This refers to how many buy and sell orders are stacked at different price levels. The deeper the market, the more stable the price is likely to be. Another important idea is order flow, which is the movement of buy and sell orders over time. If we learn to read order flow, we can spot where price pressure is building and figure out which way the market might go next. Now, how do you use the order book to spot key price levels in the market? Large buy orders at certain price points can act as support, which means that the buyers might stop the price from dropping below that level. This is similar to the concept of asterisk asterisk support levels asterisk asterisk in chart patterns, where the price repeatedly bounces off a certain point, indicating strong buying interest. Large buy orders in the order book serve as a real-time reflection of these support levels, giving traders insight into where the price might stabilize during a decline. On the other hand, large sell orders can act as resistance, which means that the price may have trouble climbing past that level. This aligns with asterisk asterisk resistance levels asterisk asterisk in chart patterns, where the price struggles to break through a certain point due to strong selling pressure. Recognizing these levels in the order book helps identify potential turning points where the price may reverse or face difficulty continuing in the current direction. These are key points for traders. If you can see where support and resistance are, you can better plan your trades. For example, buying near support levels and selling near resistance can improve the accuracy of your trades. And remember, the order book is always changing. Orders that appear as support or resistance may disappear, indicating a change in market sentiment. If you watch it closely, you can get a feel for how strong or weak the market is at different levels and see if the buying or selling pressure is genuine or fading. 
Additionally, observing how quickly orders are being filled or how many new orders are being added at key levels can help you gauge the strength of these support and resistance zones. Now you might be wondering, how do I actually use all of this to enter or exit trades like a professional? One way is to use the order book to see when large buy orders are stacking up just below the current price. This can be a sign that the price is about to move up, which could make it a good time to buy. For selling, you can look at the sell side. If you see large sell orders building above the current price, it might be a good time to exit before the price drops. Timing is everything. You want to pay attention to how quickly buy or sell orders are getting filled. This can give you an edge in timing your entry or exit. We also need to talk about market sentiment. The order book is not just about numbers. It is about understanding what people are thinking and feeling. If the buyers are dominating and buy orders are filling quickly, this could mean the market is turning bullish, which means prices are likely to go up. If the sellers are in control and sell orders are being filled faster, it could mean the market is bearish and prices might fall. Watching the speed and the number of orders gives you clues about where the market might go next. However, it is not always simple. The order book can be manipulated by traders who are trying to create a false impression of demand or supply. There is a trick called spoofing, where traders place large orders that they have no intention of executing. They do this to trick others into thinking there is more buying or selling interest than there really is. If you see large orders appear and disappear quickly, be careful. It could be a sign of manipulation. This is why it is important not to rely only on the order book. You should always use other tools like volume indicators and price charts to make sure you are seeing a true picture of the market. Speaking of other tools, the order book is most powerful when you combine it with other kinds of analysis. Volume is a key indicator that can confirm what you see in the order book. For example, if you see large buy orders being filled and volume is increasing, this is a good sign that the price is about to move higher. Technical indicators like moving averages and the relative strength index are also useful. If the order book shows strong buying support and an indicator like the relative strength index says the stock is oversold, that could be a great signal to buy. Additionally, chart patterns can be an essential part of this analysis. For instance, consider the asterisk asterisk head and shoulders asterisk asterisk pattern. This is a reversal pattern that signals a change in the direction of a trend. If you see a head and shoulders pattern forming, combined with strong sell orders appearing in the order book, it can indicate a likely downward move. Conversely, if you see an asterisk asterisk inverse head and shoulders asterisk asterisk pattern and notice by orders stacking up, it is a strong sign that an upward reversal could be imminent. Another important chart pattern is the asterisk asterisk double top asterisk asterisk or asterisk asterisk double bottom asterisk asterisk. If you observe a double top forming along with large sell orders appearing in the order book, it suggests that the price may struggle to break through and could fall soon. Similarly, a asterisk asterisk double bottom asterisk asterisk combined with increasing buy orders can signal a potential rally. Patterns like asterisk asterisk flags asterisk 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 pennants asterisk asterisk and asterisk asterisk wedges asterisk asterisk are also key. A asterisk asterisk bullish flag asterisk asterisk alongside increasing buy volume in the order book could indicate that the current upward momentum will continue. On the other hand, a asterisk asterisk 
bearish pennant asterisk asterisk with declining buy orders and increasing sell orders could predict further price decline. When identifying asterisk asterisk triangles asterisk asterisk like ascending or descending triangles, the order book can provide real-time insight into whether a breakout is likely. For example, if an asterisk asterisk ascending triangle asterisk asterisk forms and buy orders increase, the upward breakout is more probable. If a asterisk asterisk descending triangle asterisk asterisk forms with heavy sell orders building, a downward breakout may be imminent. Moreover, asterisk asterisk channel patterns asterisk asterisk can be extremely helpful. If you are trading within an asterisk asterisk ascending channel asterisk asterisk, noticing large buy orders near the lower edge of the channel can give confidence that support will hold, allowing for a safer buying opportunity. Alternatively, in an asterisk asterisk descending channel asterisk asterisk, large sell orders at the upper edge might suggest resistance is likely to be strong. Also, do not forget to keep an eye on news and events. Big announcements can change everything in the order book in a heartbeat. Earnings reports, economic updates, and other news can create sudden shifts in buying and selling pressure. Always be aware of the bigger picture. Now let us get into some practical tips. When you look at the order book, Pay close attention to large orders just above or below the current price. These can tell you where the price might move next. Be patient and do not react to every small change you see. It is tempting to jump in, but the best trades often come when you wait for real confirmation. Do not let every little move make you take action. Look for consistent patterns and real pressure building. Also, make sure you are using the order book as part of a broader strategy. It is powerful, but it works best when combined with other tools that can confirm what you are seeing. Let us also go over some common mistakes to avoid. One of the biggest mistakes new traders make is overreacting to every tiny change in the order book. Remember, not every movement matters. Focus on the bigger trends and key levels that are evident in the chart patterns we discussed, such as head and shoulders, double tops and bottoms, and wedges. Another mistake is ignoring the big picture. The order book is just one piece of the puzzle. News events, market trends, and overall economic conditions can all impact the order flow and often these events directly affect chart patterns such as head and shoulders, flags, and pennants. Make sure you are keeping these in mind and aligning what you see in the order book with these broader influences. Another common error is misunderstanding the significance of false breakouts. Sometimes, chart patterns like triangles or channels can show breakouts that end up being false, which can trick traders into taking premature actions. Watching for confirmation in the order book, such as consistent buying or selling pressure, can help prevent falling for these traps. Additionally, understanding asterisk asterisk candlestick patterns asterisk asterisk like the asterisk asterisk doji asterisk asterisk or asterisk asterisk engulfing asterisk asterisk can provide further confirmation. If a breakout occurs, but the candlestick patterns do not align with strong momentum or there is insufficient volume, it is often wise to be cautious. One more mistake is underestimating the value of asterisk asterisk trend lines asterisk asterisk. Drawing proper trend lines to connect significant highs or lows can help clarify whether a breakout is truly significant. Pairing this analysis with the order book can give you a clear picture of when a breakout is backed by genuine buying or selling strength. Lastly, never place trades without a clear plan. Know where you want to enter 
where you want to exit and where you will place your stop loss before you make a trade. Having a plan makes a huge difference and it keeps you from making emotional decisions. Chart patterns can be very helpful here as well. Using them to set targets and stops helps build a structured approach. For example, I asterisk asterisk cup and handle asterisk asterisk pattern might provide a clear breakout level for entry, while the depth of the cup can be used to set a target price. Similarly, asterisk asterisk triple tops, asterisk asterisk, or asterisk asterisk triple bottoms, asterisk asterisk, can offer clear guidance on setting stop losses, as the failure of these formations generally indicates a reversal that invalidates the trade. If you are new to this, a great way to get comfortable with the order book is by using a practice account. These accounts let you make trades in real time, but without risking real money. This is perfect for learning. You can see how the order book moves, how your trades work, and keep a record of what happens. Over time, you will get better at reading the signals and making decisions. It is also a good idea to try trading in different markets. Order books can behave differently depending on whether you are trading a high liquidity stock or something less active. The more you experiment, the more comfortable you will become. To sum it up, the order book shows you real-time buy and sell orders, and it is a powerful tool to help you understand supply and demand in the market. It can help you see key levels, get a sense of market sentiment, and improve your timing when entering and exiting trades. The key is to watch for large buy and sell orders, understand order flow, and use the order book alongside other tools like volume, technical indicators, and chart patterns. By analyzing chart patterns such as head and shoulders, flags, triangles, and wedges, you can better anticipate market moves. Combining these chart patterns with the insights from the order book gives you a comprehensive view of potential price movements. This will give you a more complete picture of what is happening in the market and enhance your overall trading strategy. And finally, just remember that learning to use the order book well takes practice. But do not worry, the more you use it, the better you will get. Keep practicing, keep refining your strategy, and you will get there. It will become one of the most valuable tools in your trading toolkit. Ask yourself questions as you practice, look for patterns, and do not hesitate to get feedback from others who are also learning. Stay patient, stay focused, and soon you will feel much more confident using the order book to trade.